Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Today we're gonna to play some Finger Gun. It's um. Well, I went hard at, at it for a while and then kind of dropped off. So we're just gonna kind of go in blind with no. Well, not blind, but we're going in without any practice. Let's say that. So this is a uh, very simple shmup, dude. You've got your little gun here. He shoots stuff avoid things and there's only two buttons man there's the fire button and there's the reverse button so you you can go backwards on some sometimes and you turn yourself around and uh, that's basically it dude and it's kind of cheeky obviously we're shooting this particular person in the booty and uh, we just wait for stuff to happen when you get to certain stages in the boss battles and these bosses, they have a lot of life, dude. Like, I guess it makes sense because all of, like, there's no, like, levels you're going through. So, I mean, the boss might as well, if it's going to be the whole focus of the game, have a shitload of, or poop load of life. Um, and that's that. So we're just going to chill, play this thing, see if we can actually talk without getting destroyed, which may or may not be possible. I don't know. Oh, I got a break. And the power-ups are pretty cool as well. You get like, uh... You get like these little extra... Hands, I think. I can't remember, actually. So we're just gonna try to... Do the impossible, which is... Actually communicate... While maintaining a flow state. Which is... Very difficult. It almost fractures your mind. Because I have to, like, remove the part of my brain that's interpreting the screen that's in front of me. I almost block out, have to block out all of the audio because I don't have any processing for the, like, there's no bandwidth to process it. And, like, even getting, like, speech functional and coherent while also maintaining the ability to survive here is very difficult. Maybe that's just the skill set that comes with doing stuff like this. Like, you just develop it, you know? Ow. We gotta pee. Oh. It was a slog getting going today, man. I was like... I was like, I'm gonna come home. I'm gonna get my protein shake going. We really need to pause. As you can see, there's this big booby squirrel thing that's coming. I gotta try to remember what the heck her attack patterns are. Oh yeah, there's one that, there's like... There's this one. There's this. And a lot of these bosses, like... It's literally just about staying almost out of reach. Some of them you don't even have to move. Oh yeah, that one comes and gets you. Oh yeah, when she does that one, you're supposed to swap over, that's right. Okay. I remember. Don't worry. This weird squirrel lady won't get us. Okay, so we chill here, as soon as we see, like, the the uh, exclamation points on the screen, we're going for it, dude. To the other side, I mean. And some of these bosses are, like, super funny. Oh yeah, the rocks, too. Okay. You can destroy the rocks. I'm not sure if I recommend it. Okay, now we go. Now we go. Now we go. Oh my god, we touched her tail. That is the move, though, just so you're aware. Be aware of that uh, little thingy at the end there. Oh, look, my power-up. I have a little mushroom boy now. And these are customizable, right? Like, you can customize the hand and your little helpers. Obviously, I went with the shocker, because that's the best one. And uh, your little mushroom boy can look like other things. I can't remember what. 
But this is like kind of like a like a, almost like a boss rush mode. You're just going and going and going. Oh, this guy might be one of my favorites. Is this the one? Oh no, this girl. Something else. But first, we gotta ingest the protein. See, this one's actually not that bad. You kind of can just ch almost just chill in one spot. And you can choose to shoot her in the face or uh, shoot her in the butt here. But you really just kind of just chill just right here until it's time to move. And it ain't that big a deal. The bubbles hardly ever get close enough to actually touch you before they're destroyed. And especially if you have a mushroom boy up here, you're good. And then when they start doing that, you move over here. Um, I like to shoot the bottom first because once it goes away, I, can't, I think her like later stages are kind of like tricky, tricky, and it's hard to get down here. So I always try to get this one first. Always, right? Like I'm a like I'm a seasoned veteran here. Ooh, I got my extra mushroom. You can see your power level bar up at the top there. You know, make what you will of what that actually means. I don't know. There we go. Another one bites at the dust. So this one, um, they're gonna go up in the air like that. They're gonna shoot little waters out. You're just moving back and forth, man. That's all. It's very, very straightforward, this one. Oh yeah, and then there's the angel bro. I think it's a shield, right? Can't remember. I'm like 99% sure that's a shield. When does it actually work? I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> So as soon as the bosses get to like certain stages, they take on other forms, sometimes they shred clothing as we've experienced, or you're this, this bro, where you just shoot him in the crotch. He does the same thing where he like jumps up, but then he like blasts out these rainbow bits, you can just chill in the middle here. And uh, all of the moves are pretty well telegraphed. There's only a couple of, like, I haven't actually beaten this because I'm pretty sure there's a boss that I just got stuck on forever. It just, it wasn't happening, man. But you know, the music's chill. It's super simple in the mechanics. And I really, really just needed that whenever I acquired this game. I don't actually remember when. It was a while back. But because I really want to get the 8-bit uh, do arcade stick man there's gonna be a lot more schmuppage happening on over here I think because it's kind of like my secret love the old schmup Did you see that radish on his crotch dude quick protein hit mm. is this the poison one Oh yeah, this one sucks. There's actually only one funky bit. I totally forgot what the heck was she was gonna do. Ah uh, yeah, this is the funky bit. That's it. That's 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 literally as hard as it's gonna get right there. Avoiding that like random thing that like. Pops up from from the depths there. Wow, so that's what I get for running my mouth, dude. That's so funny. All right, apparently I am now maximum powered up. So you know, watch out, I suppose. And a lot of these bosses have different points where you can hit them, like 
her armor pieces. And then we gotta do this thing. She'll pop back up. But because our we are so OP now, look at this dude. We're just breaking everything. Oh my god, I thought it was over. And I just let my guard down, dude. How sad was that? So this protein shake is actually, um... I'm using vanilla protein powder today. And then I put in one banana. But I also put in, um... I like little chocolate pieces, you know? So sometimes I'll get, like, chocolate-covered strawberries. Or, like, chocolate-covered bananas. And I just, like, let them... Let them get chopped up in there. I have no continues, really. Oh no, you can keep continuing forever, right? Mmm. This one's my favorite. Dude. And you know why. Look how, how awesome is it? So a lot of these um, these tracking mechanics in the game will usually shoot out two or three entities before they create a, an open space for you. And I found that to be fairly consistent with all of the bosses that have tracking entities like that. Let's see, one, two, space, one, two, space, one, two, three, space. And it just makes a little spot for you to um, avoid whatever the heck they're throwing at your head. But yeah, this is the uh, the gamer, the gamer lady, I guess, that throws the eggplants. If I remember correctly, there's also like a there's like a foot, right? The foot one's a bit weird. Let's see one, two, two, three, space, two, three, space, two, two, three, space. Okay. I forgot how much of this game, like, I had actually played. Oh, wow! I don't know, my brain just turned off. Alright, we're gonna use a continue here, but I'm not happy about it. What sucks is that when you do that, you lose all of your score, all of your power of man, and it sucks. You know what? We'll do this boss and see what the- we'll do this boss again because I really love it. And then we'll see what the next one is, but then we'll just kind of stop. The goal today was to, um, make a video. Or, record something, right? And I didn't really feel like playing Super Lucky's Tale, so I was like, you know what? I'm a grown-ass person, kinda. I should, like, do something, but I gotta do... I need to do something, and it might as well be anything. So I just, like, kind of stared at my games for a while in my mind, got an idea of what I was going to do, walked in here, just held my teeth together and went through the motions. My body did not want to do this today. My brain did not. However, my brain is not always the best judge of what's good for me. And I know being productive and doing something cool like this will pay off a lot during the rest of the day, because I will feel like I did stuff. And that is super important to how I function. Dang, dude. But I'm obviously losing my mojo here. Which is fine. Hold on. Pause. Hmm. I did pull a card. If you could create a new holiday, what would you call it and how would it be celebrated? Ooh. I don't know, man. What would be a cool holiday? It would have to be a holiday everybody had off, right? Because... No, I mean, maybe not. Holidays where everybody has it off, it's like, oh my god, you're killing me, dude. 
then like everybody's gone and you can't go nowhere or do stuff. I like holidays where like it's kind of like a social holiday, you know? Like everybody just kind of celebrates it for fun, like talk like a pirate day or whatever. That one's fine. You can do that anywhere. Probably make a holiday where like maybe you could only wear like a certain color. No, that's too St. Patrick's Day. I have no idea. I haven't given this a lot of thought and there's eggplants and fireballs flying in my face. Nailed it. Now there is, um, as soon as you beat bosses and stuff, this might, this might be my least favorite one. This guy right here. This guy right here is probably my least favorite and I'm gonna show you why. So he does this tier stuff, and it's super hard to avoid, and you, there's like, just the tiniest little space for you to do stuff, and I just hate it, and, oh, okay. What if I just chill, like, all the way up here? Is this safe up here? It is not at all. Let's see if we can find pockets of safety, just for fun, while we brainstorm our, uh, our new holiday. I don't know, I feel like there's a holiday for everything, man. Like, international this, or this, or, uh, you know, a day for that. So there's like a spot between the plate and the knee. Like, and even when, he, even when the knee gets there, too much. I think I mostly, like, when I when I face this boss, I always end up losing a bit. But I always like try to you dip down between the plates, stay under his crotch, and then you're good to pop out the other side while avoiding the tears. But to get to that point, you have to be over here. You gotta destroy the sushi. What happens when he gets to the sushi? Absolutely nothing. And you just gotta be really good at dodging those tears and getting under him between the plates. And you can be on a heck of a run, and get to this dude, and you're like, this sucks. You know what? It might be my least favorite, but it's actually not too bad. I'm trying to remember what the other bosses are now. You know, we were gonna end it, but whatever, dude. We're just gonna keep going. Why not? And the sushi plate gets rather large. Okay. I'm not. I'm, I am stopping if I die, for sure. Oh, and I'm gonna die right now. Oh. Godspeed. So they have this gallery. If I go this way, it's gonna show, like, nudie stuff. And they do have all these, like, cute little challenges you can do. I haven't defeated the final boss. I haven't cleared the game without using continue. Clear stage four without flipping. That might be hard. Obtain at least 24,000 points. But I've done all this stuff. Anyway. This has been the old Fing gun here on the, the Nintendo Switch there. Let me, let me just see if I can show you the styles of finger. Controls. How do I adjust the finger? Customize, there we go. Oh yeah, shield, minigun. You can have all kinds of weird stuff. Obviously I want the mushroom tip because that's what I like. And as far as the fingers go, you can do the shocker. You can do a... Well, you can uh, figure that out for yourself. There's quite a few different ones. <laughs> Zombie Shocker. Nice. Alright, there we go. I kind of settled on this this here setup, so that's not that's that that's what works for me, man. So we weren't able to figure out a holiday. I'm sorry. I'll think on it, maybe. Maybe something pops into the old noodle. Uh I struggled so hard to get here and now I kinda don't want to leave. But it's fine. 
Be good to each other, man. I hope you're having awesome days, and I will see you guys in the next one. If you've played any of the Fing Gun, let me know. It's... It was really something else. I remember, like, the first time that I would encounter, like, every boss. I was like, whoa, dude. It's cheeky. It's fun. I like it. Uh, take care.